that 1.4 second penalty for going off there. They do not play with the penalties here. Woof! Don't hit the tree! I hit the tree. I hit the tree. Womp womp. Okay, we're back. So, here's the long and short of it. I haven't played Wreckfest in a while. Was watching some YouTube video uh, yesterday. A uh, channel called GP Laps. That's a guy who does a bunch of uh, retro sim racing stuff. It's really great. You should go over, check out his channel, and subscribe to it. If I try, if I remember, I'll try to put a link to it in the description. But he made me aware that um, Wreckfest had released a new rally track in in the game, or Bugbear, the developers. What I didn't know was that 20 years ago, Bugbear developed a rally game called Rally Trophy. And this being like the 20th anniversary of that really well-received game coming out, that I have to admit I wasn't aware of, they decided to put a time trial rally event in Wreckfest. Uh, it's pretty phenomenal. I'm going to show it to you here. It's... It's freaking incredible. I love everything about it. Obviously, the um, the car model is straight out of, you know, uh, modern Wreckfest. Uh, that's what it looks like. But the track has a really retro design, as you can see from this still here. It basically looks like graphics of the, you know, late 90s, early aughts. So it has, uh, while the car looks, you know, very modern uh, graphic-wise... The track has a very low polygon count, uh, you know, basically just square trees that are like, have, you know, two flat planes, uh, so that it look like cardboard cutouts that are painted, you know, low res textures, uh, you know, just the whole low polygon count thing going on, and it's a real throwback, and it's, and it's fantastic. Uh, but, at any rate, before I ramble on too much, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right, so this is a special stage. It is a... Basically, it's a stage that's kind of pieced together from an original uh, Rally Trophy tracks, but it's been made into a circuit race, so it actually meets itself, and it's about seven miles around. I'm looking for the information. I'm not exactly sure. It's like seven miles around. So really what you're trying to do is compete against the online leaderboards. Um my best time is like a 6.22, uh, yeah, as you can see on the screen there, which is not that great, all things considered. Really, it's uh, it's more about getting around this track in a decent time without destroying the car, because while you can put on some of the assists, which I have done, I have to admit, cheating a little bit, um, including the rotating mini-map, because, you know, unlike the original rally trophy game there's no co-driver in this so i have to keep glancing over at the mini map to see kind of what's coming up next um but other than that you can't turn the uh damage model off so anytime you go off and hit a tree it it counts <laughs> but anyway um i'm gonna try to beat my beat my time or try to get something close to it but no promises Really, this is more just to show you this mode off and, and how cool it is. All right, let's go. Okay, here it goes. Oh, come on. I love how it's giving me penalties while I'm losing time. It's not like I gain time going off there. Oh, oh, game, you're so punishing. And so fun at the same time. There is a button that uh, resets your car back to the track, but it does not undo any of the damage.
one of the things that just sort of instantly made me gravitate towards loving this is the width of the track. And for someone like me who kind of like cut my teeth on games like Sega Rally, this has a very Sega Rally vibe. It took me a long time to adjust to modern, you know, more realistic rally games after playing so much Sega Rally. You know, whenever I started playing rally games, my frustration was that, man, these tracks are so narrow. <laughs> I can't really navigate them without going off. I'm, I'm just so used to those wide, forgiving Sega Rally tracks. It was really tough for me to get into proper rally racing games. Whoosh, that was some serious air. Eventually I did, but it took me a long time, but... I'll have to say, like, just from the, the graphics of this game, you know, obviously that's going to give you kind of a nostalgic feeling. But you need to throw in that love of Sega Rally. And this, uh, this track will really hook you. But I've been away from Wreckfest for quite a while. It's been a long time since I've played it. They've actually added a bunch of maps that I was unaware of. And there are, uh, well, that, well, several tracks. I would say a bunch. It was like, including this one, there's like three sort of really retro looking tracks. Talking, getting shocked at not paying attention to where I'm going. Um, but they have the same sort of feel with a very low polygon count and they've got really low res textures. Like you can you can drive up to them and see like those square pixels on the textures. It looks like you're driving through a Doom map or something or you know, something of the equivalent of the late nineties, early aughts. Woof. Kind of driving through a city has a very like twisted metal kind of feel. But doing a demolition derby in a like an old retro open world city like that is pretty pretty fantabulous, I have to say. So is this air I'm getting. Pretty fantastic. Whoa! Pretty fantastic air! Don't hit the telephone pole! Don't hit that one either! Oh, stay off the trees! Holy crap. Alright, 5.7 penalty. Second penalty, I'll, I'll take it. At least I didn't hit anything. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't want to just sit here and not talk. But maybe I should be quiet for just a minute. So you can better appreciate the game. Now, I have to say, you don't, you know, if, if you're unfamiliar with Wreckfest or haven't really spent a lot of time in it, you know, you shouldn't come into this expecting, you know, Dirt Rally 2 or WRC 10 physics and force feedback. It's, it's not that. Long, easy left, maybe. Um, it's not that. But it is hell of fun. And it's really, it, I guess it's meant for most people to play with a controller, but why would you deny yourself playing this on your force feedback wheel? I mean, that's just one of life's pleasures. I wouldn't want to deny myself. 
Okay, one final square left, and then across the start finish line. I haven't even really paid attention to my time. I don't know how long, how I'm doing. 6:27. So yeah, it's it's slower, but you know what am I gonna do? Whoo! And that was it. 6:30. So I was basically eight seconds off my eight seconds off my time. Okay, and that about does it for this video. That is how Bugbear got Rally Trophy all up inside a Wreckfest. And if, like me, you haven't been back to Wreckfest in quite a while, definitely come back. There's some fun shit here. Okay, so while that's about it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here. Say thanks uh, for watching. I will catch you in the next one, but I'm also going to leave the camera running for a little bit. And, I don't know. Maybe show you some other daily challenge silliness that's going on in Wreckfest. Um, and uh, like I say, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, let's get this silliness underway. Glad I got all this downforce on this truck. Definitely don't have enough gravity assist. The stiff breeze might blow this truck away. This corner has decreasing radius, so I gotta watch out for it. to reset. Damn it. Put me back to ninth place. Can we get a recovery drive in two laps? I don't think so. All right, we're up to P7. I guess let's see if we can salvage a P5 out of this. I should be able to get these guys right here. If I don't, screw the pooch! Okay. There's another tractor trailer going into her end. <laughs> oh, no sooner than the words came out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm in six though, I'm in sixth place. I just gotta get one more spot. We will we'll pull a top five out of this. Oh, the greed! Well, I guess I knew a podium was off the qu out of the question, but P4 is not bad, considering I got knocked down to P9. Whew! Oh, Wreckfest.